One of the most controversial topics of Love is Blind season six is whether Chelsea looks like Megan Fox or whether she faked this comparison to manipulate Jimmy into choosing her. There's plenty of hot takes as to why Chelsea was manipulative, but when you break it down, Chelsea and Megan Fox actually do have many similar features. Dark hair, piercing blue eyes, identical eye shapes, full lips, and a similar nose. But does that mean Chelsea looks identical to Megan Fox? No. But in asking that question, it takes us straight to the real issue behind all of this, beauty over stimulation. The truth is, these days, we're no longer used to seeing average looking people. Scroll through Instagram, TikTok, or YouTube, and you'll notice a surge of extreme beauty standards that social media algorithms send our way on a daily basis. As a result, our ideas about what it means to be beautiful have gone way up to what is now an unattainable standard. As a society, we no longer have a grasp on reality. We no longer value average, everyday attractiveness. Our expectations and desires now supersede real life and have evolved to Hollywood celebrity standards. Take the example in season six of Love is Blind. During the pods, Chelsea lets Jimmy know that people often compare her to Megan Fox. Do you ever get told you look like a celebrity? Yeah. Do you? I do. I do too. All the time on the plane, I get one person. Nonchalantly, she mentions people think she looks like Megan Fox. This undoubtedly catches Jimmy's full attention and greatly piques his interest in her. Megan Fox? Are you saying you look like Megan Fox? <laughs> it's just because I have light eyes and dark hair. That's the only reason. There's nothing else. Of course, Chelsea gives a disclaimer saying that she doesn't really see it. Later, after meeting Chelsea and proposing, Jimmy flat out says, <laughs> She definitely, she definitely lied to me on, on some uh, how she looked. Certainly, we can all understand Jimmy feeling a little duped. On the other hand, come on, what was he expecting? A twin? Again, this points to the crazy high expectations that men hold for women. If you were lucky enough to grow up before this age of hyper beauty, people used to base their beauty standards on the most beautiful girl in their neighborhood or at their school. That girl would be the epitome of beauty that the girls strived for. Now, however, we have access to seeing what the most beautiful women in the world look like. And unfortunately, it's easy to get caught in the destructive cycle of comparing ourselves or constantly criticizing ourselves for not measuring up to this new definition of what beauty means. Filters. If competing with every woman in the world isn't enough, we as women also have to deal with men who think that every girl using a TikTok filter is how normal women look. Filters have been an intriguing tool. You can change your hair color or have Angelina Jolie lips with a simple tap on a screen. Unfortunately, when you see women online, they're almost always using some type of filter. And as a result, people are getting more used to these enhanced versions we're putting out into social media, so much so that we're forgetting what a real human looks like, under eye bags and all. This is where conversations like the ones about Margot Robbie being mid come up. Men are being exposed to women with filters and fake bodies on the daily and somehow people aren't getting the memo that this isn't real. Even when you take your top Instagram models, they look nothing like their online selves. So naturally, when they see Margot Robbie without a filter, conversations about her not being as hot as they once thought are being brought up. Certainly Margot Robbie is gorgeous, but yes, she is human. Bottom line, the women men are seeing on their phones every day don't even exist in the same way in real life. Plastic surgery. Asking about someone's celebrity lookalike can be a fun conversation, but it should always be taken with a grain of salt, since most celebrities don't even look like their natural selves due to all of the plastic surgery they secretly get done over the years. Many plastic surgeons have even made cost breakdowns on how much celebrities likely paid to look like themselves. And almost always, the amount of work a celebrity gets done easily enters a six-figure number. This is obviously not an option for every woman. I don't know whether Megan Fox has had any plastic surgery and I'm not going to state that she's had work done. However, comparing yourself or your partner to a celebrity's beauty standards will always be a toxic and unobtainable path. Their career often depends on their beauty and whether it's liposuction, removing a rib or facelifts, more often than not, celebrities will secretly go to the furthest extremes to alter their appearance. This is not a question on whether plastic surgery is moral or not. I'm simply pointing out the fact of how common it is and how expensive it can be. 
$295,000 to look as exceptional as Ariana Grande. It's not for most people. So when Jimmy took to a woman like Chelsea, who said that some people think she looks like a Megan Fox and expected her to be her doppelganger, after taking into account these three perspectives, you realize just how silly and immature he was for having expectations of a woman that are simply too high. It's noteworthy to mention that in the Love is Blind experiment, Chelsea was the only woman who had two men end up falling in love with her, and both of them wanted to marry her. No longer do we live in the days where we see people in movies or on our phones that we can relate to. They no longer look like the prettiest girls in our hometowns. They look almost otherworldly. If you don't see the similarities between Megan Fox and Chelsea, maybe you might want to ask yourself if you too have been affected by beauty overstimulation. How are you affected by these ideals of beauty? Do you feel beautiful? When do you feel the most beautiful? Let me know in the comments. I can't wait to hear what you think. If you want more girly pop personal development videos, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. I'll definitely make an updated video as soon as the next episodes come out. I'll see you then.